It's market update time. Guys, I'm going to be just a quick look at the uh, Dow Jones indes uh, indices. Have a look at silver and gold as well too. I might have a look at the junior, minor, junior miners as well too. But also I'm going to be sharing with you, obviously, what the title says on this video, which is Bitcoin. Guys, I'll get... <laughs> I'll get into that in just a minute. <laughs> I do not. I'll get into that in just a minute. Before I start this video, guys, um, don't place any trade based on what I'm saying in this video. I have no idea what is going to happen tomorrow. I don't proclaim. I don't proclaim. Proclaim to know what I'm. What's going to happen tomorrow? I'm just reading what the market's telling me right now. Again, guys, the market's getting whippy. It's volatile. It's on the edge, it's fearful, it's gonna crash, not all those sort of stuff. There's a lot of things happening in the market right now. So my my education is just to share with you what I'm seeing in the market right now, and you make your own decisions, okay? Don't place a trade base in this video, because again, I have no idea what is going to happen tomorrow. Now, before I continue, guys, I'm running a marketing test this week, and the marketing test is this, is that I'm giving away all my strategies, like um, four, 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 my, four, my top four trading strategies, mindset mastery, chart reading, foundations, millionaire mindset, interviews, everything. Complete that and plus I'm also giving away four weeks free, um, uh, four weeks free coaching. So I'm gonna give you four weeks free worth of, worth of coaching, show you my trades, show you what I'm doing, show you where I'm getting in, show you where I'm getting out, all this, thing. guys, I'm doing it for free. Um, and again, I'm running it as a marketing test, but you gotta qualify, it's not for everyone, but you gotta, gotta qualify. First link in the description, I'm only doing it for this week. First link in the description is that link. This, uh, go over there, fill out, the, fill out the, the short 30 second survey. See if you do qualify for the for the whole complete package and the free coaching. And if you do, you, you can get in there and I can give you four weeks worth of free coaching. And if you like it, you can stay. If you don't, then that's cool as well too. But I'm running this as a marketing test, guys. I've never done this before. I don't think this has ever been done in the actual trading industry. I'm literally giving away everything for free. That's how confident I am that I know what, what my stuff is the shit. <laughs> uh, I'm not the shit. Sometimes I make some stupid mistakes when, my, when I'm trading. I tell you what. So <laughs> anyway, let's move forward. That's why I got a coach to kick me in the ass. Let's move forward to the markets. <laughs> let's go and have a look at uh, the, Dow, the, the Dow Jones first. Dow Jones first. A little update. Not much going on here. Now remember what I said to you guys yesterday, right? Like we, yes, the market's been trending up, and we've been we've been moving on to the high side. Watch what happens around. What what watch what happens here with the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is likely to show you what is likely to happen next. If we if we fail here, guys. If we fail here, and we start to break down here, and we start to break that low. That's not going to create the very first lower high, and then we will create at some point a lower low. Who is in control of this period through here? Sellers, all right? That is the very first sign that you should not, if you are along the Dow Jones, somehow maybe an ETF or something like that, or you bought bought the Dow Jones, um, that would be the sign to say that the buyers are no longer in control and the sellers are starting to come in control. Doesn't mean long-term, doesn't mean long-term that, doesn't mean long-term that the uh, buyers are gonna stay, the sellers, I gotta stay in control, but this is the very first sign to see. Okay, now if you go back and look at, uh, I've got, uh, I've got so many sheets of printed out here. Anyway, um, so that'll be the very first sign, guys. If that happens, then if if if, if this happens, if 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 have you guys seen that <laughs> that um. <laughs> Um, have, did you, have you guys seen that uh, that that if 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 video? If you haven't, just just type it in Obama if if video. If 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 <laughs> Bing bong, and it's Donald Trump in there. And <laughs> He's, he just goes crazy. Um, <laughs> let's um, man, let's go line right now. So line, I'm just drawing a little thing here right now. So right now the markets run up. And then the markets run down and the markets run up, okay? Here's what I do say, guys. Here is my here is my advice, if you're gonna get any advice. If the market starts to break down through here and we do start to break below this low hill over here, guys, this is where you should not be long. Don't be long here. You should be out of the market. If you are long right now, you should be out of the market. I'm talking about the Dow Jones. I'm not, I'm not talking about like any stock market or something like that. Different stocks have different things, right? Different stocks have different characteristics, but if you are in the Dow Jones, that's what I that's what I want to share with you. Now, same thing for the S and P. The S and P has rallied up. Same thing, has rallied up to this resistance level right now, and, it's, and it may be failing. 
If it does fail, and we definitely, definitely break past this level three here, guys, this is the sign. Where, this is the time where you should not be long. You should be out because if there is going to be a crash, go back and look at every single crash in history: 37, 87, 2008. And it started with something like this. I'm not saying the market's going to crash, but if there is going to be a deep pullback coming into late this year, because we are getting into the crash season, so to speak, you're going to start to see something like this. And this is where you should be out. I'm doing this, guys, just to save you. You know, and if you are worried about that, when the when when the when the indices is when the when the S and P and the Dow Jones start to do something, if it does do that, then then uh then definitely 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 be out of the, of the market makes sense same for the nasdaq as well too right what's happening with the nasdaq the nasdaq has this here was the overall resistance level it broke down broke back up if we break back down again and, and we close below there then definitely especially on the nasdaq right what's happening with the nasdaq the nasdaq is starting that is doing something like that what is that doing that's doing that's low, low that's that's lower high and lower high and breaking back down and then breaking back breaking past these support levels here you definitely shouldn't be long the NASDAQ as well too. So um, again, guys, this is just a warning. This is just, you know, I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow, but if those certain things happen on the charts, guys, be out of the market completely. Um, I, I'm not saying the market's going to crash, but if, if if we're going to get a flush down or a crash or something like that, moving in towards the end of the year, that's what the that's what the charts will say, that that's what the charts will tell you. If you don't believe me, go back and look at go back in time and look at the daily chart of every single crash that's happened in history. 1929, 1937, 1987. Every single time the chart has actually done that. So be, keep keep that in mind. All right, cool. Let's go have a look at silver and gold. What happened with silver and gold today? I know I didn't check that when I was trading this morning. I was too busy focusing on getting out of a damn loss. And getting into a trade too. <laughs> um, so first thing, uh, so what do we see here, guys? Um, now again, I was, as I was saying to you guys, this is silver, silver, uh, silver, ah, uh, right. So what do we see here? Silver and gold time. I saw that in the chat box. I saw that in the in the, in the chat box uh, uh, in, in the comment section <laughs> a while ago or yesterday's video. Silver and gold time. Let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. Uh, making an arrow here, by the way. Lower high, lower high. Okay, who's in control? Major. This is a weekly chart. Who's still who's still overall majorly in control here? Sellers are still majorly in control. The long term trend still has not changed. So therefore, we should not be looking to we should not be looking to buy this market yet. Short term, you maybe want to, you may want to do something, um, but the but the overall. Let me just delete that here. But the overall trend right now, even though we're starting to make this, this we're starting to make a high, high, and a high, low, and we may be even getting something like going on through here somewhere. Like we may be even in a channel, and that that looks like a channel to me. So we may be even in this short upward channel. But again, guys, the overall major trend comes from the higher time frame. So go to that higher time frame. Go to that higher time frame and see what's happening here, and don't fight against that. Because as you can see, and it's, it's just a really as simple as this, as this market was making higher highs and higher lows through here, the the, the, low, the, the low, prob low probability is trying to short the market, right? Trying to short the market. The high probability is trying to buy the market as the market's rising. As this market's making lower highs and lower lows through here, same thing here. If you tried to buy the market on the way down, you would have got your hand handed. It is just something as simple as that can keep you out of some really, really bad setups bad, and bad trades. Make sense? So let's go have a look at gold chart. Same thing with gold, but what is happening with gold right now? Again, no one is in control. We don't have any long-term trend. And so this guys, this is where this is where buyers, sellers and buyers are gonna get chewed up because there is no trend right now. There really is no long-term trend. Once the long-term trend starts, then you can start to jump on that and start to ride the wave. Once that starts, it hasn't started yet. But I did a video yesterday. I did a video yesterday saying, if what if what we're seeing right now, if this here, if this whole thing that we see right now that's happening here, and as you can see, it actually sort of bounced off that level. If this whole channel that's happening right now on 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 gold if if we do hold here right now and we close up and we break out then yeah we're gonna see a pretty quick run i would say a pretty quick run if we hold here right now the ifs the if 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 <laughs> bing bong bing bong um if we hold here right now 
and we and we open and we start and we start to rally up through there and we start to get a good closer below here guys that's the sign for me that the market that gold is ready to shoot off and i'll probably buy some call options on gld at that time um and the market is like the market is like once once that happens the market's like a turnaround and if we do get like a nice weekly close above these highs here like a definite close above there nice strong close above then we are then then gold right gold for me is getting ready to run up to the high point that happened last year probably even break up to a new high for the last couple of years in total so that's what i see there on short term that's what i see there on the short term on gold but long term as a, as an investment opportunity there is nothing there to say that this is here making lower highs lower lows there's no one really in control and again guys when you look at the market and people say oh the market is rigged the market is rigged just keep an eye on that long term weekly chart okay guys like let me bring this chart over here Keep an eye on that long-term weekly chart. The only thing that you need to worry yourself about, guys, is what is happening with the major swings on the market. Major swings. What is that? Um, as you can see here, right, the market's making down, lower high. Um, no, not really there. So the market actually had down. We had like little lower highs here, right, but not really much. Then a major lower high came down. We actually we made a we made a equal bottom, but guess what? Lower high. So in a downtrend, in a downtrend, guys um the uh making lower highs and lower lows but the most important part is that we're making lower highs it's showing the sellers are sellers, sellers are knocking it down in an uptrend um as the, the most important part is the higher lows so what do we have here we have a higher low right uh, a, a double bottom a higher low but guess what is this this is a lower high still a lower high still a lower high and still a lower high do you see that now there's a lot of there's a lot of technical analysis around that you can see that like as you know that this was the very first time that we had a bottom and split up there and blah 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 but as you can see right as the market came down through here what is this this is the very first what very first higher high out of this whole long-term move and you look at the you look at the you look at it as waves right wave up you can have the small little ones but look at the waves wave up wave down wave up and as you can see this whole time through here guys and this is the reason why it's so critical it's so important to actually look and actually see what's happened in the long term this long term this long term here right lower high lower high lower high sellers are still knocking it down lower high lower high what is this here this is the very first higher high in this whole time so manipulation, blah, 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 who cares? The reason why people are so, people, the only people who are complaining about manipulation are people that have been buying it for that long and don't understand is one simple technique. And then guess what? After the market made this very first higher high, that's when the whole trend changed last year. Then it came down and then it actually started to get really, really messy where it is right now. Make sense, guys? And that's what we're seeing right now. Make sense, guys? All right, cool. So that's what I see there. Now, one thing I want to say, I want to share with you guys is this. If you don't know what you are doing right now, we are getting one big crazy buzz about what? What is the biggest crazy buzz right now? It is Bitcoin. And some of you guys are going to say, John, whatever. I didn't care what you say. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Whenever you study human nature, whenever you study anything, Right now, Bitcoin has been just absolutely just taking off. Look at that chart there, right? Look at this chart here, just absolutely just exploding. From 1,000 up to up to almost 4,000 in about a couple of months. Guys, here's the thing. Speculation on a day-to-day, day-by-day basis, you might be okay. But here's the thing, guys. Stay away from Bitcoin. Stay away away from bitcoin if you don't know what you're doing or you, and, and you don't have any system that you that, that, that you're doing there is so much talk heck there's multi-level marketers that i that I, I see sometimes on my facebook they're saying bitcoin baby bitcoin and there's internet marketers are saying bitcoin baby and there's everyone's talking about bitcoin and bitcoin and bitcoin everyone is talking about bitcoin right now guess what guys when everyone is talking about something that is actually the time to do the opposite Right, like I'm looking. I'm thinking I'm going to buy some put options on Bitcoin if I can. I don't know if I can. I'm going to short that sucker, right, guys? Uh, and if you notice your time in history, right, when everyone is talking about something, 
that's the time to start start thinking something different. Make sense? When, when everyone's saying something different. So guys, my advice for you right now is not to invest in Bitcoin. If you're, if you're, if you're looking to buy Bitcoin right now, guys, to me right now, it is the worst thing you can actually do because it's so high and so many people are talking about it. And due to the way the, the, way, the way the markets work, guys, when so many people in the public are talking about one thing, it is time to get out. Have you ever heard the analogy, right? Listen to any, any, any top investor, like one of my millionaire investors, you know, he was, um, he had some long-term, back in 2007, 2008, he, had, he actually had some long-term, uh, long-term uh, buy and hold in the stock market. And, and, um, and he got out before the crash. And I said, what made you get out? And he said, well, I saw it on the charts. He said, but when the taxi driver was starting to give me advice about what stock to buy, I knew I needed to get out. That's what's happening right now, guys. Bitcoin has just gone absolutely nuts. Everyone is talking about Bitcoin and this is the worst thing you can do right now because there is a likelihood, there's a very, very, very strong likelihood that we are likely to get a fast and hard snap back out of this. Only because, guys, only because if you look at Bitcoin overall, we have gone up so high and so fast that a, a strong correction is likely to happen. And if you're looking, if you're looking to pile your 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 your, your, your retirement money or pull some money out of the house, because look, this thing's going up. Most people are getting excited when the market goes up a lot really really quickly. Then guess what happens? Then guess what happens? The market comes down really, really quickly. Now, guys, if you have your own system in there and you're happy to buy Bitcoin right now because you think long term, you know, it's going to be worth $10,000, then do that. But don't just buy on hope, right? Have a system in place. Have some have some analogies in place how, or have some processes in place. But right now, guys, everyone has talked about Bitcoin and Bitcoin has gone up so high, so hard and so fast that a fast, hard and fast correction is likely to happen and guys and so you know this is a it's just everyone's talking about bitcoin right now it's like it's just just nuts right guys it's just nuts i prefer to be looking at gold right now waiting for that breakout i talked about in this video that to me is much more of a higher probability setup than bitcoin right now bitcoin so i've all right i've, I've knuckled that thing i've kicked that horse <laughs> i think it's dead right now you guys know what i'm talking about right you may or may you may agree with me you may not agree with me but guys look at anything in history what goes up really 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 quickly and really fast in a short period of time frame guess what happens at least eight times out of ten wham and it has a really hard fast and snap back and everyone that's getting long up here guess what that's what the market does it sucks you in and then bam come back look back here right if you actually look back here uh when when bitcoin when, when bitcoin did have rise look look at the same thing back here Bitcoin went from 100 up to what, 1,000 really quickly. And guess what happened here, right? <laughs> it's so amazing. Up here, everyone's like, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. And people are running Bitcoin seminars and all oh, Bitcoin went from 100 and getting everyone excited. Everyone's talking about Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. And then guess what happened? It actually pulled back, right? Pulled back like 30 or 40%. Right, so everyone that bought Bitcoin up here because it's gone up so high so fast, this is the wrong time to get in Bitcoin. If you want to get into Bitcoin, you wait for what? You just wait for like a simple, like if the market's going sideways like here, wait for a break of resistance. And then you, and then you start to look at it, so to speak, right? Wait for the market to go sideways for a while and then get in on the break. And then as you can see, right, as the market continued down, the market continued all the way down and what actually happened? This happens so many times. Look at this here. As this thing shot up really, really quickly, within a year and a half, it was back down to almost the same level as there as well. What actually ended up happening, it went sideways for quite some time, guys. All right, so you can see here, right? Went sideways. So this here was the sideways channel. What ended up happening here? This one here, the market, the market was making lower highs, lower highs, sideways, bit of a sideways, then broke here. If you wanted to get into Bitcoin, right? This here was the this was the this time here was the right right time of Bitcoin. And then guess what happened? We had another sharp, we had another, not, not as big this time, but we still had what? We still had another sharp rally. And as you can see, the market actually pulled back and then we actually started to really, really, really just go absolutely just nuts from here. So guys, that is my video for today. Have an amazing day, guys. Remember I said before, guys, if you like my shit, you're probably gonna like my coaching. You're probably gonna like my strategies. First link in the description, <laughs> click on it. 
I'm, I'm just giving it away for free today for you guys to try out. All right, guys. See you in the next video.